looking to incorporate more veggies in your life but don't quite know where to start got a house full of people who loathe the sight of anything green or maybe you just want to eat carrots in a so much better way well hang tight because i've got an easy and fast recipe that's going to take carrots to a whole new absolutely delicious level for you Welcome back to Cooking From Scratch, it's Melissa, and you guys have requested yet another veggie video, and I am here to deliver. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my most favorite recipe for glazed carrots. Now, I'm sure you've had glazed carrots done to death before, but I guarantee you, you have not had carrots done like this. This recipe is great for getting anyone in your household to eat something that came from plant sources rather than something that ate plant sources. So if you're looking to get more veggies into your household, grab yourself a drink, crank up that music, and let's get cooking. So I wasn't kidding when I said this recipe is super easy. All you're gonna need is three ingredients, which are... So if this is your first time cooking, I highly recommend checking out our other carrot video. I never know where the little eye button is going to pop up. But if you're familiar with carrots, then we'll go ahead and get started. So you're gonna want to take a peeler, start peeling off that external skin. Now, if you can't find rainbow carrots, don't worry, this works just as well with regular carrots. The rainbow carrots just, they just look prettier. And I know it seems strange that two things can be exactly the same, taste exactly the same, but I guarantee you there is something to be said for how your eyes trick you. Because your eyes set up the expectation that it's gonna taste different, your mind will follow. Plus it just looks so damn pretty on a plate. But before we can bring out our secret ingredient, let's tackle the bigger problem at hand. More often than not, every carrot you're going to encounter is thinner at the bottom than it is at the top. And you're wondering, Melissa, what problem does that bring into play? Well, it affects the cooking time. So when you go to cut carrots into what we normally call coins, if we cut one at the bottom and then cut one at the top, even though they're pretty similar in terms of height, they're not similar in terms of mass. And this is gonna mean that this tiny one is gonna overcook before this one can even get done cooking. So what you wind up having is a plate full of a mixture of various done carrots. And I don't know about you, but overcooked carrots are one of the worst things to happen in a kitchen. However, there is a trick to get around this, and it's one of my most favorite tricks. It's what I like to call cutting on the bias. Now, we can get these to equal a similar mass, even though the carrot is thinner at the bottom than it is at the top. And how we do that is we cut at a nice sharp diagonal towards the bottom. And as we start to come up the carrot, we make that diagonal thinner and thinner and thinner until we're practically just cutting it right along parallel at the top. Here's the piece from the top. Here's the piece from the bottom. Yeah, roughly about the same mass. Still roughly about the same height. That means these are gonna cook evenly with each other. Now, go ahead and continue that with the rest of your carrots and we're ready to introduce it to the stove. So now that we have a beautiful medley of carrots cut into coins, let me introduce you to our secret weapon. I know it's absolutely cheating, but there is something about a little bit of sugar that does help the medicine to go down. Now, if you're thinking, oh my God, I would never consider cream soda and carrots to go together, you'd be surprised. The cream soda is gonna do a couple of things for us. One, it's gonna serve as the cooking liquid. So it's going to cook these down until they're still a little bit crisp, but you can easily get a fork through. 
And the second thing that this is going to do is it's going to turn into our glaze. By adding in a good hunk of butter, or if you're looking to make this vegan, you can always use vegan butter. The combination of the two is going to thicken up the sauce. So as the water starts to cook out of the cream soda, what's going to be left behind is the little bit of sugar that's in here, relatively speaking, of course, mixing with the butter that's going to coat the carrots and Trust me, if you're wearing socks, get ready to find them across the room. It's it's phenomenal. The reason why I'm using cream soda versus anything else is because flavor wise, cream soda isn't as heavily sugared tasting as most of your other sodas. You could even do this with Sprite, 7-Up. You could do this with diet soda, although be careful because sometimes diet sodas tend to not cook down as well. If you're going to go that route, what I recommend doing is using a fruit juice like apple juice. There is still the sugar component that you have to deal with, but thankfully not as much sugar if you can get it fresh than if you were dealing with, say, cooking in Dr. Pepper. So in a deep non-stick pan, you're going to take all your carrot pieces. You're going to cover them in a full bottle of cream soda. If there's not enough liquid to just cover, feel free to add a little bit of water, it's totally fine. Add in your big hunking wad of butter and then put this over medium high heat covered for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, you're gonna to wanna to take the lid off because now that we've given the carrots a good amount of time to cook, now we need that cream soda to reduce. So after that, let it go for about 25, 30 minutes. Keep an eye on it. You're gonna to wanna to turn the heat down to about medium, medium high, depending on how hot your range gets. You don't want this to burn, which is why we're also using a non-stick pan rather than a regular pan. Time-wise, the carrots should get to a nice place of doneness by the time that this cream soda is a lovely glaze over your carrots. There still might be a little bit of liquid left in there, once you scoop it out, you've pretty much taken care of that problem anyways. And there you have it. Super simple, super delicious, and let me tell you, this will make a carrot lover out of anyone. Mm. Nice glaze on it. And the cream soda gives it a little bit of sweetness, but it's not overpowering in your face sugar kind of a flavor. It's just a little bit that nicely accents the carrots natural sweetness, but you still know that you're eating carrots. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. If there's any other vegetables you'd like us to tackle on this show, let me know down in the comments below. And if you know of anyone who is an absolute carrot hater, feel free to hit that share button to share the recipe with them. And uh, let's see what they say after that. Thank you so much. And I will see you awesome people in next week's episode. Cheers.